Why is there always a dog running through my video? <laughs> we are going to attempt to destroy this lawn today. That's what we're going to do. We're going to destroy this lawn. Not really. What I'm going to do is uh, we're going to talk about applying treatments in the summertime. Four weeks, no rain, drought, 96 degrees. And I'm going to come out here and I'm going to spray super juice, fungicide, pesticide and extra iron in the middle of the day right after a cut doc what are you doing hold on i'll tell you yeah we're going to talk a little bit about pounds of nitrogen applying fertilizers in the summertime we're going to touch a few of those questions and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to take you out i'm going to do what you're not supposed to do i'm going to do a treatment in the heat of the day Right after a cut, Doc, you're going to ruin your lawn. I don't know. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. So let's talk a little bit about pounds of nitrogen real quick. Hey, Doc, how many pounds of nitrogen is in super juice? What's the cost per pound of nitrogen in super juice? Huh? Can you tell me that? Can you tell me that? Anyone who has access to Google knows one to four pounds of nitrogen per growing season for the entire season is what your lawn needs. The more sandy your soil, the more nitrogen you need, the more clay base, the less nitrogen you need. Personally, my lawn, one treatment of 10, 10, 10, and then super juice ever since. That's all this lawn has had, period, nothing else. Early treatment of 10, 10, 10 to correct my soil deficiencies, and then super juice, nothing else. That's all that my lawn has had. <laughs> There's living proof that a gorgeous lawn can be had by correcting your soil early in the spring or any time, and then just supplementing. That's all you gotta do. Remember, super juice is a very unique formula. It's very, very mild. It has nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, 712 or 14, 1424 ratio, humic, sea kelp, all your micros, your, your magnesium, manganese, copper, has all those little micros. It's in a dry formula. So you can store it away, mix it with water, spray in your lawn. It's real simple. And you can add other stuff to it too. That's what we're going to do today. So what I'm going to show you now is I'm going to show you what happens when people try and correct their soil with liquid spray. So everybody knows the spray companies that are out there. I don't want to knock them. But one thing they do is majority of them only use spray and they put down a very high concentration of nitrogen. So a very strong high percentage of nitrogen and I'm going to show you what happens when you do that and try and fix the soil and give the lawn give your lawn the main food source it needs through spraying hold on all right so I'm walking over to Sarah's lawn because Sarah hired a spray company about two months ago and this is what happens when you try and spray a large amount of nitrogen and fix your soil when you try and fix your soil with a spray, especially during a drought, that's what happens. Almost total burnout. You don't want to try and fix your soil with a spray. So the way that you have a great lawn is you have to fix your soil. Soil corrections and nutrient deficiencies are done with granular products. That's why we do a soil test. And if you don't have a soil test, just throw down some 10, 10, 10 and get those nutrients into your soil. The plant will decide what it needs at that point. Understand that. So our soil corrections are done with granulars. And then our supplements that we do weekly or bi-weekly are done with something like super juice. We're not trying to necessarily give our lawn the nutrients it needs. That needs to be done inside the soil. The supplement is that extra little supplement feeding that makes takes us above and beyond. It takes us to that golf course quality lawn that you want. That's what it's for. So I'm gonna take super juice in a 712, add extra iron, add fungicide, add pesticide. What else? Iron, I already said that. And I'm gonna apply it. Well, here's what I did. I went out front and I double cut my lawn really short. I'm down to about three quarters of an inch in a drought to this morning and then I went right after that the heat of the day about 1 o'clock 1 30 sprayed the super juice the backyard I cut yesterday and I sprayed today so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the lawn uh, 
I'm going to show you the lawn an hour after I cut it. I'm going to show it to you this evening and then I'm going to show it to you tomorrow morning just to sort of give you an idea. Now what's the best time to spray something like a super juice on your lawn? Uh, honestly, I think it's right about now where I have a bunch of, see the shadows and sun hitting the lawn back there? So the, so the sun is getting pretty low. This is the perfect time to apply super juice. This is when I want you to apply it right now. Come out here, um, it's starting to cool down. You're gonna mist it out. As the night starts to fall, what happens? Well, you start to get a little bit of a dew on your grass. Here's the thing about foliar feeding that a lot of people don't understand. Super juice, a lot of it gets absorbed by the foliage, not all of it, some of it does. And then it gets, then it gets washed down into the roots. But foliar transfer of nutrients can only happen when the nutrients are in a liquid state. Does that make sense? So you really, once they dry, you don't get a lot of that, that foliar transfer. So if you come out now, just when that sun is setting and it's getting low in the sky, if you mist with super juice out here, it's going to stay wet. And then all of a sudden, in a couple hours, you're going to get that dew come in here and it's going to sort of stay wet all night. It's a great time to do it. So evening is probably one of the best times to do some of your treatments. If you have to go out and spray something, I really like to do it right about now so i'm guessing it's probably about 6 37 but that sun i'm starting to get mostly shadows all over my lawn from the trees it's not steaming hot the temperature is dropping and as the temperature drops you're going to get that dew start to fall on so you spray the mist on there you start to get the dew so anyways what am i going to do today i'm going to show you the little mix i make up uh it's a great way this is also a good way too uh, this is a good time when you do this if you have any army worms starting you'll typically see them after you spray so make sure you check after that too. And cut in. <laughs> I'm gonna cut in here real quick and talk about army worms. I'm getting off subject, but uh, the double kill product, if you go over to the website, you click product links, roll down, and you'll see grubs and army worm killer. You wanna have this stuff in stock and it just got back in stock on Amazon. There was a long check-in process from Amazon, but it is back in stock. And I've ordered mine because I'm starting to see army worm moths and I'm gonna show you my catcher over here. And once I start to see the moths, I think it's like 20 something days till the eggs start to hatch. So it's coming up on the time that we might see some. Excuse the loud pump noise. I gotta replace a pool pump here. But I'm gonna open this up for you. And that's about a week's, and that's about a week's worth of moths. And most of these are army worm moths. So all these in here trap. Oop, maybe there's one. <laughs> these are all moths in here that, get, that we're gonna lay eggs. Hey guys, so the other day I talked about mixing different things in with Super Juice, and that's what we're gonna to do today. Um, I'm gonna be spraying several different products together all at once. Super Juice, I'm gonna do in a 712 formula. So one cup of Super Juice will treat 3,000 square feet. So let's just say for, let's say I have 16,000 square feet. I need roughly six cups total. You don't have to be exact with Super Juice. Uh, liquid Iron. I'm gonna bump it up today a little bit. I'm gonna put uh, I'm gonna put probably about one two cups per 5,000 square feet. I'll put that in here. Super Juice has iron, but I want to really bump up my lawn, get a little bit darker green. I'm watering a lot. If you watch that last video, I'm doing a lot of supplemental watering, and it's hot. So I'm gonna put some uh, propiconazole, which is for fungus. It's a fungus treatment for brown patch. This I'm gonna put um, one ounce per thousand square feet, so I'll need 16 ounces of that mixed in here. Then uh, I started seeing some, I've, my house backs up to a whole bunch of wood, so I'm, once a month I do a good spray for fleas and ticks and ants and all kinds of stuff, and I started to see some stuff last night. So I'm gonna add some Talstar. Um, I'm going to add some Talstar. I'm going to add about half an ounce per thousand square feet, so that would be eight ounces. I'll add a little bit of green dye in there. And so all this stuff I can do in one application. I like to, add, I like to mix everything in here first and then add my hot water into it. So I'm going to put 16 ounces, 16 ounces. This is the fungicide. So I'm going to put 16 ounces of this in there. And actually, I think I've got it. There's a mark on here, and I've already squeezed in eight ounces. 
So let me put the eight ounces in there. Oh, you know what? I grabbed my surfactant. <laughs> let me grab my iron. Always read your labels. <laughs> they look identical. The surfactant and the liquid iron. Now, people ask all the time, will it stain your driveway? Not while you're spraying, really. If you spill the concentrated iron, it will, it will stain your concrete. And there's four cups. So that's four cups I'm putting in for about 16,000 square feet. Then I'm gonna put my hot water in and then I'll put my super juice. And the last thing I'll do is I'll put my green dye in into the tea pitcher I use. We don't use the green dye to color the lawn. People ask all the time, does it stain the sidewalk? And it's, it really doesn't. I put very little green dye in there. The only reason we're putting green dye in there is to tell us what? You should know the answer by now. To tell us when our sprayers stop working because all these spray bottles are, are tricky. Now, the question is, can I, do I have to buy these spray bottles or can I use cheap spray bottles? So this product, you have to understand the viscosity or the thickness. This product, this complete insect killer and some of their fungicides are a little bit thicker. They're not liquid, they're a little bit thicker than the liquid. So yes, if you have a bottle that looks a little bit thick, um, you can use it. If you use something like a triazicide, which is very liquidy, if that's a word, um, it, it has a low viscosity to it, then it probably the spray head won't work. It's not calibrated for it. But yes, you can use these bottles if you want. And someone was saying, why don't you just use these bottles? You can use these bottles if it's for something thicker. And so if you buy something like a, a complete insect killer or a fungicide, uh, these bare bottles are great as long as it's that little bit thicker material and not liquid. Okay, so let's add the hot water. Okay, so I just use a regular paint mixer now. You can use a spoon, I just use a paint mixer. Okay, when you're, again, I'll say this one more time. Now I have drilled, I have a video. I've drilled, actually today I'm trying something different. I'm drilling both of these holes with the 332 drill bit. Put this back in here. Make sure this is on off when you fill this up. Make sure it's on off because if these tip over, they'll leak out. If they're on off, they can't leak. Put your top on this one. And now you're ready to go. This California weather, it's like 90 degrees It's making me hot and he has the same effect on me It's just something about the way that he's making me feel My insides are out, I just wanna shout his name Ah, my body's giving up on me Cause I don't know what to do with my fingertips Ah, I wanna run him through his hair But I'm trying not to stare, mm -mm. I get a little flash when I see Anyways, this yard, this is a good example. My yard, this morning I came out, I cut it this way, and then I cut it that way, <laughs> and then I came out and did a, at 1 p.m., about 1.30, came out and sprayed, did a super juice treatment with super juice, iron, fungicide, 
and pesticide inside of it. But again, this is why we do not want high concentrations of nitrogen. We want a very, very mild little supplemental feeding that we come out once a week and can put on. Yes, even in a drought, if you have a water system, if you're irrigating, you can still do super juice. That's the nice thing about it. Cut back on your other fertilizers, your high potency stuff, and just do super juice. Just do super juice. It'll hold you over until you the fall when you can put down some more granular. Why is there always wildlife in my videos? <laughs> this is in Barb's yard, I swear to God. Really, people? These ducks have been in our neighborhood <laughs> for the past couple weeks. I guess they're eating seed heads. That's pretty interesting. That's what those little bastards are doing. I think they're walking around eating seed heads. So why am I out here at 6.55 in the morning? <laughs> because before this sun comes up, I'm going to show you the results of my horribly burned out yard. Well, you can already see it. <laughs> it's amazing. This is actually the first cool morning we've had in like three weeks. The temperature dropped a little bit. It's kind of unusual actually, but you can see behind me, this lawn looks amazing. Let's just take a little gander at it. Look at that. That's incredible. That's amazing. <laughs> I'm even shocked at the results right there. That is truly amazing. It is gorgeous. There's a little bit of dew on it. Not as much dew as normally is. I'm telling you, I'm shocked. It looks phenomenal. So I came out here in the heat of the day at 1.30. It was 90 something degrees. We're in a drought and I sprayed super juice, iron, fungicide, and pesticide. Now, obviously, don't do what I do. <laughs> do what I say. You want to do this in a cooler point of the day, but I wanted to show you that, you know, using a mild supplement is, this is what it's designed to do. So when you see golf courses on TV and they look like this, guess what they get it from? Same company that makes Super Juice. Oh yeah, real quick, someone asked about how my garden was doing, so I wanted to show you real quick. So these are cucumbers, I'm getting ready to pick some. Now these are all from seed up front. Cucumbers, beans, snap peas, and tomatoes in the back. Tomatoes, I'm fighting a little bit of fungus on my tomatoes, but I think they'll be okay. Ooh, man, that sun is bright. <laughs> so anyways, guys, you can see the results back here. This is the backyard. Same thing, it's sprayed in the middle of the day. I don't want you to do that. I want you to wait till the cooler hours and spray at night. Let it sit on it all night. Come out the next morning, water it in, but it's amazing stuff. It's amazing what you can do. If you understand the difference between a supplemental feeding and correcting your soil with your main pounds of nitrogen, understand that Super Juice is that little weekly spray that you can put on there that's real soft and real gentle. Oh, by the way, I just got notification that PGF is back in stock, in case you were wondering. Just got an email. Talk to you later. Hit subscribe. Doc.